Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson ZapQ, and in this tutorial we are going to use SPSS to evaluate the assumption of linearity. Remember, in order for a MANOVA to be robust, there needs to be a linear relationship between the two dependent variables for each group of the independent variable. So there needs to be a re linear relationship for learning community and connected this on, for both the online group and the traditional group. If the variables are linearly related for both of these groups, then the power of our test is robust. If there's not linearity, then our power for the MANOVA can be greatly reduced. In order to examine linearity, we need to create scatter plots or scatter matrices. What we're looking for on these scatter matrices, remember, is to be able to draw a, somewhat of a straight line through all our different data points. Now, there are several ways that we can create scatter plots or scatter matrices in SPSS. What you'll learn is, is that's the case with most analyses. There's multiple ways to do it in SPSS. One way we could do it um, is we could split the file before generating the scatter plot matrices so that we can examine each dependent variable for each group of the independent variable, and then we could click uh, graphs and use the ch uh, chart builder. However, today in one, um, we're going to click graphs and we're going to use legacy dialogues. And so we're, we just click graphs, legacy dialogues, then we're going to come down here and choose the scatter dot because we want to produce scatter plots or scatter matrices. Now, since we want to produce multiple matrices, remember we need one for the online group as well as the traditional group, we're, uh, we're going to click matrix scatter in this scatter dot box and then we're going to click define. Next I'm going to highlight the dependent variables here learning community and connectedness and using this arrow button I'm going to move them into the matrix variable box. Next I'm going to highlight type of program which is our independent variable and move it over to the rows box using this arrow. Now I'm going to click OK to generate the matrix scatter plot. To determine whether or not we have a linear relationship between our two dependent variables for each level of the independent variable, we need to inspect the scatter plots. Here you can see we've produced four different scatter plots. However, these two are the same and then these two are the same. First, we're going to assess the traditional. In the traditional group, does there appear to be a linear relationship between learning community and connectedness? Well, there's some data points grouped here and some data points here, but we can generally run a, or we could generally draw a straight line from this data point all the way up to this data point, indicating that linearity can be assumed for the traditional group. We can do the same for the online group. I'll draw a straight line almost from this end data point to this end data point. Um, we aren't drawing any curve, there's no curves going on. So we can say that linearity can also be assumed for the online group. Therefore, in this case, we do not violate the assumption of linearity. 